everybody. It's been a long time since we've done a battle report, but with 6th edition finally play tested by the club enough to where we feel comfortable doing one, we're going to do one today. It's going to be Ultramarines versus Necrons. We're playing a Vanguard deployment, which is Caddy Corner um, Table Halves. Um, we're playing a 1500 point game. It's going to be uh, Purge the Aliens, which is the new kill team uh, format. Um, rolled off for Warlord traits, and uh, neither of them mattered. Uh, Victor's Necrons got the one that lets you outflank. Your outflankers have acute senses, which he doesn't have any outflankers. And I got the command trait that lets you roll an extra dice for uh, running, but I'm not going to be running. So um, that didn't really make a difference in this game, but it does look like a cool system. Could make a difference in the game. Victor won the roll off, and he cho or he's choosing to deploy first. Uh, go first. I'm going to be deploying second, and I will try and steal the initiative. Um, we will be back after we get everything deployed, and we'll let you go. We'll uh, we'll go from there. Okay, deployment is done. Uh, for Necron deployment, we've got a 15-man squad of Necron warriors, and identical over here. The difference is this has got a Overlord with Resorb in it, a three-man unit of heavy destroyers. A C-Tan Shard with a uh, Transdimensional Thunderbolt and Gaze of Death. A Monolith and a Doomsday Arc. Um, on the Ultramarine side, there is a Laz Predator. A Razorback with half of my Tactical Squad in it. Uh, there's the rest of the tactical, tactical Squad up there. I have a Land Raider with five regular Terminators with an Assault Cannon and a Terminator Librarian in there. I have a Land Speeder with Assault Cannon and um, Heavy Bolter, I believe, right there. And then I've got a Scout Squad here, all with Sniper Rifles. Uh, so that's it. We'll see if I can't steal the initiative. And I do not with the roll of a four, so we will be back after Necron turn one. Oh, uh, before I forget, I have a um, Storm Raven coming in from reserve, and the Necrons have five death marks that will be deep striking. So that's it for that. We'll be back after turn one. All right, Necron first turn. Um... A lot in the movement, well, in the movement phase, a lot didn't happen here. We just kind of moved up a little bit. Destroyers kind of st uh, stood back a little, uh, trying to get out of range of the um, tactical and the uh, sniper squad over there. These warriors kind of, st uh, they, they uh, stayed put. The um, Catan moved up with the monolith and Doomsday Arc st stood still also. Shooting. Um, and this is where the new gauze weapons, I think, are coming back. Here we took out three of the uh, hull points. Hull points from the Land Raider from the shooting of the Warriors and the uh, uh, Heavy Destroyers here. Tried to ta take it out with the Monolith. It rolled, I think, three or four hits and didn't get any sixes. So it's still around with one more hull point. Uh, Doomsday Arc here. Shot the large blast template and took out the land speeder that was behind it. And that's uh, pretty much for Necrons. So we'll be back with uh, Space Marines turn one. Okay, Ultramarines turn one. Um, bunk. That, that's what happened. Uh, last cannons from here did nothing to the Doomsday Arc. Last cannons from here did nothing to the... Uh, monolith. My single last cannon there managed to knock off a hull point, but that was it. My snipers shot, and I only had one hit. Ten shot, one hit. Uh, I did manage to knock one down. Um, this guy right, my mo uh, land raider shot over here, knocked down four, and power of the machine spirited a las cannon over and knocked down one of the ra um, whatever the hell they're called destroyers, the destroyers. thank you uh, they both passed their morale checks 
and then three of the five warriors got back up so really nothing and then the one destroyer stood back up so grand total for the turn i did nothing so that was it we'll be back after turn two for the necron necron turn two uh first things first death marks came in i placed them over there so uh i had you know a couple things to shoot at either the guys in cover there or the terminators just in case i pop the um land raider but in the, uh, the rest of the movement phase, uh, destroyers moved to the side uh, there. Uh, the warriors moved back a little bit to try to make that a little bit harder for the uh, Terminators to assault them. And these warriors moved up to get range on the Predator over there. And Monolith and Catan moved up. Uh, shooting phase, uh, very good for the Necrons. First, um, what happened first? First, I think these warriors here blew up the land raider. Blew up the land raider. Wrecked the, wrecked the land raider because of the whole points. They took the uh, the final one. Uh, then, combination of destroyers here, death marks, and doomsday arc took out um, almost all the well all the terminators except for the librarian and terminator armor. Uh, we had one question on a rule, and that's something we'll address at the end. But uh, so, uh, this is, uh, he's left there, and he passed his morale. Yes. Task. Okay. So he's good with a three, I think. I mean, did it really good. Uh, Monolith uh, shot at three different things. Three shots here, did nothing. Three shots over there. Did nothing. Did nothing. And six shots over there, did yeah. nothing. But, and then uh, the Catan here shot the bull. A trans-dimensional blow, yeah. and uh, did nothing over there. He hit, but he failed. Excuse me, to penetrate. These guys, though, uh, with uh, ten shots, I think ten or eleven, shot at that and took out two more hull points. So he's down with one. Uh, he's down to one uh, assaults. Nothing happened in assaults, and we'll be back with uh, with uh, Space Marines turn two. Okay, turn two. Space Marines, and um, the, the game's over, really. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to concede. Victor, good game. Good game. Um, I hate conceding on turn two, but um, we were taking Funky List today just to try out as many of the new rules as we could, and um, the Funky List did not do well. Um, in this turn, I took a lot of shots at the Death Marks, and they did fail their morale and are running. My Storm Raven came on and did nothing. Um, it came on, uh, the Plasma Cannon did nothing to the Death Marks, and my Multi Melta and two Blood Strike Missiles did nothing to the Monolith. Um, this took three shots at the Monolith and managed to do nothing. And uh, my Snipers. Took some shots over at the Necron Warriors and managed to do one wound, which he then stood back up on. So, um, oh, and I, I did a wound to the Lord, but that was it. So we're going to go ahead and call the game. Um, we'll do a quick redux, and then we'll try and get another game in today. So uh, we'll be back with redo. Okay, um, Space Marines. Uh, MVP, LVP, LVP... I think is me. I did a lot of stuff wrong. Uh, MVP, nothing performed, so I really don't have an MVP. Um, as far as what I do different, I take a better list, I guess would be better, but um, I just need, a, I need to get with the 6th edition rules set up a little more cleverly so that stuff's not out in the open first turn so you can just take pot shots at it. Um, one of the rules that came up was the lookout search. Um, the way it came up was I took two unsaved wounds on my librarian, uh, over here, uh, failed both of the, um, armor saves, but passed both of my lookout sirs. The, the thing that comes up is there was one model left in the unit at the time. The, the question that arises, and the book doesn't clearly state it, is are you able to look out sir both wounds to one single wound model? Um... Part of me thinks you probably shouldn't be able to, because it is only a single wound that the guy can take. 
But again, the, the rule book doesn't say anything saying you can't. So it's, it's one of those rules I think it's going to have to be FAQ'd in, a, in an upcoming FAQ for the 6th edition as a whole. But um, just kind of an interesting side point. Uh, tell us what you think your thoughts are. Leave a comment below and uh, we'll, we'll use that until we get an FAQ. But uh, as for Space Marines, I think a little cleverer setup would be better. All right, uh, Necrons, uh, we, I took, uh, well actually Matt made the list for the Necrons too. We're trying to try, uh, we're trying out a whole bunch of different things and hopefully we get a lot of these six editions rules to uh, come out. Uh, one thing that is, and as you already know, is big for the Necrons is the gauze weapons. Land Raider, we blew it up because of gauze. You know, we, uh, the Predator was about to go down because of gauze weapons. So that's uh, something big. Something I wanted to try out with Scarabs. We'll I'll probably throw it in another game uh, now that the vehicles are weapon skill one or zero if they move or not. Uh, snipers. Snipers did uh, well. Um, actually, yeah. I mean, the gauze weapons, I guess, is the MVP, LVP. Um, really nice. I guess like... the Catan, because he's uh, 280 points and he really didn't do anything. Uh, again, we were just trying out, you know, different things, so, and that's why we put him in. But, uh, Catan, probably LVP, MVP is, uh, 